here in the next episode of my quick fire questions and I'm with uh, Adam Byrne here in New York. Uh, Adam, thanks for taking the time. Andrew, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Uh, as we know, you've had a great rugby career. Um, can you tell us, when did you make your debut? I was 18. And uh, when was your first try? First try wasn't too long after. Um, yeah, probably one of my favourite tries. My housemate at the time, Josh, was there to celebrate, pick me up. So, yeah, I'll never forget that. And uh, what was the most challenging thing being a rugby uh, player and having uh, such a long career like you've done? Uh, I'd say the most challenging thing was the injuries and the setbacks and then the non-selection. You want to be playing every game, so when you're injured and missing out or the coaches are picking you, that's the toughest, yeah. yeah. And um, biggest inspiration uh, either growing up or throughout your career? Obviously, a lot of the lads ended up playing with sports, sports people growing up, but right now, looking back, it's my family, my parents in particular, what they sacrificed to give me, my brother and sister, the opportunities we got, and then my mates as well, my close friends on the team, um, guys in business like yourself, what they do and the challenges they overcome. So, yeah, my mates and family are the biggest inspiration there. Um, as we know, you've just announced your retirement, and uh, again, congratulations. Um, what are you uh, most excited about as you embark on your new career? I think the challenge. Um, I'm going to try bring all the lessons I've learned from rugby across, and yeah, it's completely new. I'm in a new country at the moment, uh, completely new job, but yeah, I love a challenge, and I'm hoping I can grow from it, and I'm just excited to see where it brings me. And uh, what scares you the most about embarking on a new career? Uh, I, I think it's just fulfilling my potential. So I just want to give it my best shot. And I know once I work hard and give it my best shot, um, yeah, it's kind of that nervous excitement. I wouldn't say I'm scared, but uh, nervous excitement, yeah. Uh, what's the one thing you'll take from um, your uh, career as a professional athlete? Uh, into the business world? Good question. Um, I think definitely, like I said earlier, the setbacks, um, the resilience is a massive thing, uh, teamwork, um, and then hard work. So I'd say they're the three things. Um, a lot of setbacks in my career, um, a lot of no's, but I'd like to think I came out the other side of a lot of them and, and grew as a person. And then, yeah, just hard work and rugby, it's pretty tangible you work hard you get rewarded so yeah i'll bring all them across and what's the best piece of advice you've got um about your career in general i think i heard a saying a while ago what's meant for you won't pass you by and yeah that stuck with me so i kind of believe yeah what happens is meant to be i like that um so you've um you've just retired um you're, as I said, you're, you're going to the next chapter of your of your life, um, and you've also decided to make the move uh, to the US. Uh, why here, and why now? I think just something different, a new challenge. Uh, I just like getting out of my comfort zone and seeing where it brings me. Ireland, I love Ireland. I'm sure I'll be back there um, at some stage, but um, you know, I wanted to move on from that kind of rugby bubble and it's, it, it is quite tough. Uh, a lot of my mates were, are still playing rugby, so yeah, I just wanted to challenge myself, get somewhere new and uh, the States feels like there's a lot of opportunity there, so so yeah. Well look, I don't think I know someone uh, with as positive outlook as you have and I've no doubt you're, uh, you're gonna uh, do really well over here. So best of luck, big man, and uh, yeah, with you all the way. Appreciate it, lad. Cheers.